specific to the FNU situation, eh? uh, it is true that uh, he wrote to me and uh, asked me to pick that up with the party. Eh? Um, <coughs> I decided to speak privately with the uh, Honorable Ron Ron Roy, eh? and which I did. Eh? Um, and he had assured me that um, he had reinstated the four councillors and that the process had been put in place to rectify what uh, the, the concern that expressed by, uh, by the PM at the time. <coughs> Let us... Uh, Uh, right, right during the period, uh, FNU began to, you know, really, I was really impressed with the way they were performing. Yeah? I had a um, number of tourism related programs that I wanted FNU to take on, uh, aviation, uh, and I was very pleased with what I saw. And I knew from what Honorable Honora told me that, you know, the things had been rectified. And I kind of left it at that. Eh? So I. I uh, <coughs> I was uh, assuming that you know we we all saw the way things were happening and uh, it was you know it was okay, yeah? um, and uh, that is, that is where uh, is where the uh, the the miss the lack of communication occurred. Yeah? My me assuming that things are working well now and it's no longer an issue and so I I, I did not. I, I did not, uh, you know, I, I should have um, gone back to the PM and say, look, it's, it's, it's all rectified. Eh? Uh, because I, uh, my assumption was that things are working well now. Uh, it, it, it was uh, no longer an issue. Eh? Um, uh, but then, uh, just before Christmas, I, I learned that, uh, you know, uh, I had, I had to con convey this thing to him, eh? and so I put it uh, in writing before I went to India when I, when I came back from leave. Eh? Um, uh, but a few days later, the, the PM had said, you know, uh, thank you, but this is the cause of action uh, that he would be taking. I mean, he had obviously did his, um, his own uh, analysis of things and uh, decided to go this way, yeah? which I respected. So I made the case. Um, he said to me, uh, sorry, this is the way, this is the way uh, it, it has come to this. Yeah? So, you know, that, that, that uh, issue about me not, uh, you know, not communicating, um, I, my assumptions were that uh, it was no longer an issue. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, it's something that I should have done, um, you know, definitively to write back to him and say it's been done. I, I wrote, but it was after Christmas. Yeah? So you said you had informed him after Christmas. Why didn't the PM, do you think that it was just because of uh, not consulting with you guys? Or what did the PM, what did well, the PM go you know, um, I I made the case, uh, but you know he he obviously had to look at it from uh, from his perspective, and uh, you know the, the factors that came into play to make, for him to decide, and that was it. Huh? Do you support his decisions? He's the prime minister. Uh, he has to protect uh, his office, um, and I am part of his team. And it is important to realize that. You are part of the executive. Eh? The executive is charged with the management of this country. Eh? That is why I'm here. Uh, our people want the education uh, ministry to be managed. I am part of the executive team, and I'm here to do that. Eh? Also, I think uh, Sodelpa is calling for a PM to step down. Sodelpa will support the coalition government for its full term. Uh, a lot of emotions, uh, you know, have come to the fore. But uh, I can assure you, 
that cooler heads will prevail and that we are a major part of the coalition and will own our undertaking to see this coalition through to, for, to, for its full term.